Hey girl and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and a little bit of vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. With the Sephora sale coming up, I believe next week, I wanted to take some time and share with you some of the items that I currently have in my collection and that I'm thinking about picking up from the Sephora sale and highly recommend that you consider checking those out. Sephora Savings Event happens, I think, twice a year and there are three tiers to this savings event. So you have the higher level and it's called Rouge and you will get 20% off and that sale begins on April 5th. And then you have the VIB level which will give you 15% off and that one starts I believe on April 9th and then you have the insider where you would get 10% off and that also starts on April 9th. Then they are also offering 30% off of all of the Sephora collection um, products and that is for everyone and it begins also on April 5th. So please please take advantage of those great discounts i have too many items that i want to talk about but i do have a few and i'm going to break them up into about three categories so i'm going to have fragrance skin care and makeup so let's go ahead and jump into the fragrance section first now i only have two fragrances right here in front of me but i do have a video on my channel where i share my complete perfume collection and tell you the things that i love and the things that that, um, I wouldn't repurchase so if you want to get some more ideas please go over and take a look at that video but today we're going to talk about the YSL Libre. You know I am highly obsessed with this perfume. I talked about this in a few of my videos, but I absolutely love this fragrance. I typically wear this in the what fall and winter uh, months, but you can wear this all four seasons. You can wear it evening, daytime, whenever you want, but it is a really good fragrance. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, and then the second one that I have is this fragrance by Jo Malone and this is in the travel size and I do talk about in my perfume collection why I like to purchase this size and this is in the scent wood sage and sea salt. This is a scent that I really do like and I think I've purchased this maybe two or three times so I do highly recommend this one and actually pretty much any Jo Malone fragrance I would highly recommend you try out. So those are the fragrances that I wanted to talk about. Now let's move on to skincare. I do want to emphasize again I've said this before about us wearing our sunscreen. Um, we should be wearing this every single day for every season but definitely in the summertime time in these summer months we should be concentrating on wearing our sunscreen so I don't know about you but I do know for me I had to go through quite a bit of sunscreens just to find the one that worked for me so now is the perfect time if you wanted to try like the higher end sunscreens now would be the perfect time to try them out during the Sephora sale so you can get a nice saving so please 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 go and find a sunscreen that works for you. So back to the skincare products that I'm going to talk about. In this video, we're going to start with the Fenty Skin Fat Water Toner Serum. I absolutely love this stuff. It is so good. So refreshing on the skin. It's hydrating. Um, I just highly recommend it. And pretty much, I recommend any Fenty skincare or makeup product. I think her line is really, really good. I have a ton of her makeup products. And I think I have this as well as the Cookies and Clean Detoxifying Mask, which I really love. And actually, I recommend that one too. I don't have it right here in front of me. But it is a really good product if you want it. And the next item that I have in skincare is by Paula Choice. And it is this liquid exfoliant. You guys, this stuff is pure gold i love it it claims to unclog and shrink in large pores and to smooth and even out your skin tone i can highly attest to the shrinking of the large pores i did have pretty large pores right up in this area but since i have been using this and i probably have been using this for the last two years i have seen a significant difference in the size of my pores i highly recommend you check this out if you have trouble with enlarged pores try that out so those are the skincare products that i have let's go ahead and jump into makeup so i'm not going to keep saying this during every makeup 
video that I mentioned, but I am a true, true beginner when it comes to makeup. So I don't know all of the ins and out when it comes to makeup. I just know what I like and what works for me and what doesn't. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that do work for me and that I am loving at the moment. And I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'm just going to grab what's in front of me right now. So I do want to start with these Dior blushes. I have three of them. So I have it in the color berry. I have it in the color pink and also in mahogany. These are so good. I feel like these are very pigmented and it's going to show up on your complexion. I do think that it is a really nice blush and I highly recommend you try it out. So moving on to powders. So we're going to talk about this Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm. I love, love, love this stuff. This is so good. I'm going to go for like a no makeup makeup look. You just want a simple face. You just want like an even skin tone. This is perfect. I will just use this and like put nothing else on my face and it looks so good. So I do have it in the shade 8.5 and it looks like this. And this is my perfect shade. It's like my exact skin tone and I really, really love this. I don't even put a powder over it to set it because it kind of transform into a powder once you apply it so it starts out creamy and then it kind of ends up being powdery i mean I, don't, I can't explain it i don't know how it happens that's just what it does but this is a really really good product that i love if you want to wear it by itself and then you can also wear it as a base if you want to use it as a primer and then apply foundation on top of it i haven't done that yet but i've heard that you could definitely do that so i recommend that and then the next powder i recommend is by makeup forever and this is the matte velvet skin blurring powder foundation and i have it in the color y 505 and you guys this stuff is so good this is so good so this is what the shade looks like if i can get this to focus so that's what the shade looks like. And as you can see, I've already hit pan on this. And I don't think I've ever hit pan on any kind of powder foundation. But I've already hit pan on this and I really love it. I think I would love to repurchase this again. But I will not be buying it during the Sephora sale. Just because I have so many other powders that I need to use. This will definitely be like a staple product in my collection. Once I kind of like narrow things down and find out what works for me and what doesn't. This will Will definitely be a holy grail in the collection and i highly recommend it so those are the foundations moving on to contour so i recently started doing contour i have some on today one of the ladies that i watch on youtube she recommended this lys contour so i have mine in the color strength and it looks like this it is a cream contour so this is what it looks like and it's really soft really creamy and it's very easy to blend out so i like the fact that it comes in this little stick just like put it directly in the places where i need it sometimes i'll use a smaller brush to get some of the cream off to put on the face and then sometimes i just go directly on the face with this stick product and i love it so i highly recommend this the next item i want to talk about is this ysl this is called the lash class mascara so good like this is some good stuff i love how big the wand is and it's just so easy to apply it the lash like a full look you don't even need to put on any falsies so i love to wear this highly recommend and the next few items i have are lip products so we're going to start we're going to start with the lip liner by the Sephora collection and this is in the color molasses. This is the perfect, perfect chocolate brown lip liner. I love this color and I love the fact that it has the twist top like this so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. So I love that little twist top. Very creamy and I love the way it just glides on the lip. You don't have to worry about any breaking. It's a really good lip liner. So I love that. And then another Sephora collection purchase is this lip gloss and this is in the shade Coffee Date. Again, a really pretty neutral brown. It's very soft and creamy and I like the way this also just glides on the lip and it looks so natural. So 
those two Sephora products I really love. I will wear them together. I will wear them with other products, but they are really good. And then we have the Summer Fridays lip balm, and this is in the color beige vanilla or vanilla beige and again it's another nice brown lip gloss it's not too shiny it's not sticky very creamy and smooth and it has a nice scent to it as well so um i love that as you can tell i do love my browns and my nudes when it comes to lippies so um i do have quite a few of them in different brands so the last lip gloss i have is by nars and this is also in a nude color, but this one has a little bit of a pink undertone and it is in the shade Nympho. Really, really, really good everyday lip gloss. Love it. And the last item that I want to share, and it's also a part of the Sephora collection and will be 30% off, are their makeup brushes. And I have this one in the 64, and as you can see, I've already been using it. But I do want to like build up my makeup brush collection. I do have a ton of them that I buy from like Amazon, but I wanna invest just a little bit more money in my brushes just to make sure I'm having some really good brushes to do my application. So those are the items that I currently have and recommend that you pick up during a Sephora sale. If you have any recommendations, please leave those down in the comment section below. But before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.